Hello, today we are going to start modeling an arch and when we do this we're going to use a combination of different techniques. So uh, here I have my reference. I've already loaded it into the material editor. I'm going to bring over a standard material. Plug that in and then over here in the front I'm going to go ahead and make a plane and then I'm just going to square off the values for it. Make it nice and big because this is a big arch. Center my plane in the world. Assign the material editor. Show realistic material viewport. Okay. Let's move this back a little bit. We'll turn on shaded. And I'm just going to raise this up so that the reference is kind of sitting there at zero in the world. I'm going to kind of center it. There we go. All right, so my values are squared off because my reference is square. And I'm just about ready to begin. I'm going to go into Object Properties, turn on Back Face Call, and turn off Show Frozen in Gray so that I can freeze my reference. Okay. So first things first, let's start off with a cylinder. So I'm just going to click and drag here to start making that. I'm going to drag it out. I don't worry about making it perfect. Let's go to this object properties. We'll make this guy just a little bit transparent. We'll do 0.75 and hit OK. I'm going to make sure I come over here and just set it to shaded. There we go. 0.75. Put it to 0.5 and say OK. All right. I'm going to bring my cylinder over here. I'm going to line it up. Now I'm going to remove the height segments on this. Let's zoom in on this guy. There we go. And we'll reduce the number of height segments. We're going to leave it 18. Okay. I'm going to right click and convert to edit poly. Now, first thing, in vertex mode, I'm going to grab these verts that make up kind of the center. And we're going to come down here to Edit Vertices and click Connect. So I've connected those together. I'm going to come grab the bottom. Polygons, I'm going to delete those. The bottom of this guy, let's see if we can go ahead and we can make this guy opaque again. I'm going to set this to be shaded. All right. And while we're at it, we'll go to display over here and turn on back face call for this guy. There we go. All right, so let's grab our border, grab the bottom, and just cap that off. And now I'm going to extrude down the bottom. I have the geo. I'm just going to pull that down as far as I need to. And then I'm just going to grab all the sides because I'm going to take this whole thing can be a little bit thinner. There we go. All right. I'm going to take the sides. I'm going to extrude them out. But when I extrude them, notice everything's going one direction. So we just need to switch this to local normal. And that's going to start to extrude them out. So I'm going to go about here. And I'll probably scale these over to get them to be about the right size. Since my reference isn't perfectly symmetrical, I'm just going to focus on making sure I line up with the right side here. All right, so we kind of started here. Let's grab these verts over on the side, and we're going to make them planar on X. Same with the ones over here, make them planar on X. And then grab all of the ones that were going to eventually be our top. We'll make those planar along Y. There we go. We're going to stop this just underneath this part here. We'll pull this over to the end. And then we can just put a symmetry on the whole thing. Right click and convert that to poly. All right, so we're starting off. Let's go into polygon. We'll grab these polygons in the center and delete them. Our next step is to go through and use border or a bridge to start building it. You can actually use a shortcut. Just grab the border, go into edge, and if I hold alt and click on these points in the bottom, I can then bridge them together. 
There we go. So we're off to a pretty good start here. We're starting to build our arch. Let's uh, start getting in some of those other details. And so for those, we're going to start working in some splines. So I'm going to hide this guy. And I want to get this sort of shape that makes up the edge. Let me make sure my viewport display performance. Good. My texture maps are set to the highest resolution. I just happen to have low res uh, textures for my reference. All right, let's go to line. And I'm just going to kind of draw out the basic shape here. Of what this arch is. I know I'm not getting it perfect here. I'm just going to get down the basic points and then I'm going to go over to modify and refine it. Now I can only make out so much detail here because it is a little bit blurry but I can kind of hit the high points. Just selecting these points, moving them around, lining them up trying to capture the feel of what this uh, this nice piece of detail is doing on the top of this arch. Okay, I don't need that vert. Okay, so here we have kind of the points along the top. So what we're going to do now that we have this to find is we want to find the top of the arch. So I'm going to turn off my grid by hitting G here. And I'm just going to make another rectangle. That kind of matches these dimensions. And we're just going to convert it to an edit spline. I'm just going to zoom in here. Let's slide this over and line it up. There is a way to extract a spline from edges on a model in Edit Poly. Uh, the problem you run into with that is the vertices have odd tangents, meaning the vertices are, are end up facing odd angles, and it makes for some weird geometry. So in most cases, you're going to be better off just taking your model and uh, building some basic splines. All right, so I now have my path. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use Bevel Profile. And if I click on Pick Profile, that goes through and it makes this geometry for me. Now, it's kind of sitting on the inside, so I'm going to have to grab the Profile Gizmo. There we go. And you can see there's, there's the point, right? That represents my path going around. And my shape is basically, its tip here is being placed right out on the side. So we can come over we can see that we're going to want to raise this up and I'm doing this in the sub object with the gizmo and then I'm just going to kind of slide it over a little bit and then let's look out here hey there we go so by adjusting our profile gizmo we're able to adjust and get the shapes that we were expecting All right. now we have this nice detail sitting here along the top. All right. Now, we could take a look at the front. So let's hide this guy. All right, so we do have a nice detail of this arch. So we can kind of look at what shape that is. We'll probably just start off with a simple rectangle with kind of a, another rectangle down at the bottom. So I'm going to take this and convert this rectangle to a spline and attach the one underneath it. And then I'm going to, in spline mode, use Boolean to combine those two together. And now I just want to take this, take these guys, let's move them over a little bit to line them up with our reference. I'm going to kind of slide this guy over. I'm going to actually take all these right click and convert them to corners. And then this one at the bottom, I'm going to chamfer it ever so slightly to kind of get the smooth effect that's there. And I'll take this one point and just move him in a little bit. And then down here at the end, I'm going to chamfer him too. And there we go. 
All right. So now I have the basic shape of this arch. And what I'm going to do, let me unhide all. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make a circle. And I'm going to center it in the world just like my arch is. Well, I guess I need to center it on my arch a little better. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to convert this to an edit spline. And I'm going to select the bottom parts of the segment and delete. So now I have this very simple half circle. If we look, there's my shape that I made for the design of the arch. So let's for the framing on the arch. So now I have this uh, spline selected. I'm going to use another modifier called sweep. Sweep does allow you to use presets. I'm going to use a custom shape. I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick the shape I just made. So you don't see anything right now, but as soon as I come over here in orbit, you can see there's my detail. So I want to get that on the other side. So I'm going to come over here to angle and rotate that 180 degrees. And there we go. So we see it's kind of facing the wrong direction. So let's just take our spline here. You see now it's bold because it's an instance. This piece of geometry is referencing the shape. So if we make changes to it here in object space, then that changes will happen to the object. So here I am, I have my angle snap on. I'm just going to rotate this guy 180 degrees. And there we go. Now we have our shape. And that's our arch. So we can come back over and we can adjust. If you look over here, I'm going to adjust the X position. Kind of move that out a little bit to line him up. And then if we wanted it to be more detailed, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn on showing results. Uh, what I mean is if we want it to be smoother, we could adjust the number of steps and that will add the number of segments. So we're just going to take this down a little bit to be, take it back to six. And then one thing I noticed, there's a lot of segments in here. That's probably because we have an extra curve. So I'm just going to come in and make sure that we convert all these to corners because I wasn't really looking to get a uh, curve shape in there. There we go. Okay, so we have our shapes in there. Let's unhide all. We can select our little sweep detail. Slide him over. And he should be able to come in here I want to poke out a little bit, and so it's just a little bit of fine tuning of the actual shape. We could probably just slide this guy in a little bit. There we go. Now he covers up the arch real nice. Okay. Those are the primary tools that you're going to have. All right, from here you should be able to go through and finish it off. 